Thanks. So I mean, when was the last time you had a relationship? Uh, what's seven, six months ago uh, with this girl named Mackenzie. And uh, so that was up in Tennessee? Yeah, she's very beautiful, but she just, she likes to have a little bit too much fun. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't like to be loyal, you know. I, I, so I, she was she, sleeping around with other guys? The next day, you know, but I mean, if you're, I figured out if you're going to be with somebody, you never know what they're going to do, and you just got to choose who you want to be with. Why do you think she needed to sleep with other guys? She was, uh, trying to... What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews, out here with another one. Um, so we got my man out here today. How you doing today, man? Good. My name's Plato. I'm a rapper. I'm a singer. You know, I'm, here. I'm not from Atlanta. I was born here, but I came here to pursue my dreams and some stuff. And, uh, All right, well, hold on one second, one second, one second. All right, so um, are you homeless? Yeah. Okay, man. I saw you, you know, you was kind of uh, asleep right there on the street, man. Um, and so, okay, I, I get it. So you, you're homeless right now. Um, how old are you? 26. 26. And so how long have you been homeless? Seven years. Seven years? Is that seven years off and on? or? Uh, uh, yeah, it was off and on. Yeah. Okay, so when was the last time that you went from having a roof over your head to being out on the street? Last summer, I was I was in the house and so last summer playing paying rent, but my friends weren't treating me the right way, so I, so I kind of just left and went back to the street because I couldn't get along with everybody in the house. I didn't want to conform to society and be around people that were just trying to talk bad about me and not talking negativity. So what I type of negative stuff were they talking? Saying all kinds of stuff, saying I'm gay, saying I'm not shit, saying I'm this, saying I'm that, for no reason, for no reason, just to try to def def defamate me where I couldn't get nothing done. You know? well, I mean, if if they said that you're gay but you're not, why does that bother you? I don't know. I just everything bothered me. A lot of stuff sh I noticed shouldn't have bothered me. I should have just let it go. Then uh, I should have took it as they were playing. But I don't know. They, they were my friends. But, all I know is if you come to Atlanta, don't be too nice too much because lots of people out here take advantage of that situation. You can't just give everything away because you'll end up walking around with nothing every day, and when you want, and then, and then no one's gonna help you out when you got nothing except some people. And the people out here don't care. And if you walk past them with nothing and try to come around asking for help, which some people they might just shoot you. I got shot at somebody for looking at their Gatorade. And you got shot at for looking at someone's looking Gatorade? Looking at his Gatorade. Bullet, bullet almost shot my foot and gunpowder in my face. Yesterday I got robbed for $1,200 and I almost got shot. And I know. You had $1,200 on you? Yeah, and I got robbed for it. Wait, wait, why'd you have $1,200 on you? Why didn't you go get a room or something? I don't know, man. That's what I should have done immediately, but I didn't, man. Um, it came and it took that van pulled up on me to rob me for $1,200. How did they know you had $1,200? I don't know. <laughs> And so you say you're a rapper? Yeah. You got any songs anybody would know? Uh, yeah, I got this one song called Mona Lisa on all platforms. It's by Plato, P-L-A-T-O. Uh, it's dropped on the 15th. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's have you, have you done any collaborations with anybody that we would know? Yeah, I've done a song with Lil Bree and Chris Kinney. Uh, I haven't dropped them yet. Uh, anybody yeah. else that's a little more famous? Um, no, uh, no, that just them. Chris Kenny's got three hundred thousand followers. I got twenty thousand followers on Instagram. Uh, a y p l a y t o h. That's my Instagram. You got twenty k on Insta? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's, it's crazy out here, man. I'm, I'm well, really look, let me, let me, let me. And I want to get get that. In, Wait, say that again. I'm against sex trafficking, and I'm trying to figure that shit out. To be real, I'm trying to I'm trying to stop any all the. I want to stop the violence. I want to stop anybody abusing women abusing men trying to get them and trapping people and taking them in. have you have you seen any of that happen i've seen chairs and i've i've gotten into into places where they are open them but in bob wire and got into stuff and seen chairs where they torture people and stuff and seen what they do in some places but that's that's not everywhere around here you just have you i i, I just found that stuff because i was particular things okay how long have you been here in atlanta uh, about two months. Two months? So you said that you've been homeless since last summer. Yeah. Okay, so where are you from? Where are you coming from? Tennessee. Tennessee, is that where you're from as well? You say you was born here? Uh-huh. Okay, and so... Liberty Hospital. Okay, so, so you was born uh, here, and so when did you move to Tennessee? Uh, when I was a kid at like five, five okay. years old. So y'all moved from the Atlanta area yeah. and moved up to Tennessee. What part of Tennessee? 
Tennessee and Nashville. Nashville? Yeah. Man, shout out Nashville, man. Definitely shout out Nashville. Shout out TSU. Shout out all HBCUs, man. All day, all day. All right, man. And so, uh, all right, so growing up in Nashville, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Uh, no, I had a stepdad who uh, was very abusive and drank a lot of alcohol and, you know, hit my mom all the time. But I would always yell at him and get kicked across the room for yelling at him and hit my mom. And then he'd come say sorry to me. But, yeah, and also I was put in a cage as a kid, all kinds of stuff, man. I was, you was put in a cage? Yeah, I was put in a cage as a kid. My dad, my stepdad was not a good person. He was very horrible. He was very fucked up. But so, so what about brothers. your biological dad? Where was he at? Was he ever in I your life? I don't know. We found, my mom told me this one guy was my dad. We got a DNA test and he wasn't my dad. And then we got, found this one guy she said was my dad and he didn't want to get a DNA test. And my mom so wait, the, the, the first guy that got the DNA test and you found out it wasn't, what age were you when that happened? Uh, 12 years old. And so up to that point, your mom had told you that that guy was your dad? She told me he was my dad for a long time. After she told me my stepdad that was beating me was my dad, she told me that he wasn't my dad. She told me the guy that we got a DNA test that wasn't my dad. She said he was my dad because my last name is the same as him. But then next thing you know, he wasn't my dad. So my mom is Julie Chancellor. I'm Michael Smith, man. Uh, my brother is all Chancellor. We all got different names. My little brother is Josh. You know, my grandma's Jackie Poor. I, I got, I got, I got, I don't know, man. It's, it's crazy. And I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. God is real. There's real God out here. Like, like, I, I mean, for me to get shot at, and I am hit right in my foot, for me to get bricked, for me to get shot in the mouth, for me to get bricked in the face and still be alive. Not, I mean, I've been stabbed. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me go back. So, so when you found out that that wasn't your dad at 12, how'd that make you feel? Oh, I was just so upset, man. I, I'm so mad at my mom. Put it on my mom when she was sick. Have you talked kids. to her about that? Have you yeah, told her how you me feel? Me and her get along now. What, I, what was her response back then? She was just so sorry and was crying. And she, I couldn't. I, I don't know why. I was young age. I didn't understand how what I was putting on my mom. You know, I didn't understand rent. I didn't understand how much responsibility she had to take care of five boys. And I never understood that. Now me and my mom get along great. So I was just about to ask, I mean, do you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got four brothers. Four brothers, no sisters? Steps, I got a stepsister. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so that was his... We're all stepbrothers. We all got different dads. Okay. So, okay. So it was five uh, boys, five dads yeah. that your mom had? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I got a stepsister when she finally married this dude that was she's with now. And so... And your stepsister, that was the stepdad's daughter? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. And so, I mean, growing up, were you guys close, your your brothers and your stepdad? Yeah, we were close. To my, yeah, we were close. Like, we would you say that growing up, would you say that you had a fairly normal childhood? Yeah. Just kind of childhood that was very, very strict. I, didn't allow, I wasn't allowed to have a phone. I wasn't allowed to have nothing. I wasn't allowed to ask about rent. I wasn't allowed to ask about any details about anything. I wasn't allowed to ask anybody for money at the store. I'd get beat up. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to do, it was a lot of things. I got put on canned food goods for a while for discipline, for punishment. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm Dude, not the let, normal white boy that gets everything he wants at all. I didn't have, I got a game system, got no games. I won my only game system I ever got and I never got no games until I got a job at 16 was able to pay for the games myself. And uh, so, and so, I mean, so did you go to high school? Yeah. Did you graduate? Okay, any college? Uh, no. Okay, so, so I mean, what'd you do at 18, you know, what was? What was I lost 100 pounds, I, I was 300 pounds at 17 and I lost 100 pounds running every day. And congrats on that, man. Thanks. Health is wealth. Yeah, I lost 100 pounds in three months and, and stuff. I mean, I smoked a lot of weed, and that was the first Any drug. Any other I, drugs? That was the first drug I started was weed, and then at, like, 22, I got tattoos, and then at 23, I tried to put cocaine in a blunt, and then I didn't really like it that I, mean, I liked it, but I didn't want to do it all the time, and then, you know, like, I got a 25 and then tried doing cocaine a lot more. But, like, I can stop. I stop it all the time. I stopped all When was the last time you did cocaine? Uh, a few a few weeks ago, but I don't I don't really do stuff all the time. It's just for party reasons or fun reasons. So I mean, any other hard drugs? I mean, I've tried. I, I've been tricked into doing ice or meth or whatever, but 
and you got to trick them to do it, but I really don't like that shit. I like my sleep. I don't like to stay awake for a long time. I'm not just to, no, you know. The meth like will keep, keep you too. up? Yeah. So did, did, when you're talking about cocaine, are you talking about powder or crack? Uh, both. I've tried them both. Which one do you prefer? Pure. If I was going to do it, I would want to have fun with some pure, something pure, something clean, something, something that's so just not going to kill it. me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I, I'm very, I, I very have good psychological skills to figure out when somebody's going to try to trick me and give me something stupid or how they're trying to treat me. So I don't, I don't want to just sit out here taking something not regulated and saying, get you killed or, you know. Well, I, I mean, none of this stuff is regulated, man. Like, it's illegal drugs, so. Yeah. I get it, but okay, so, I mean, so, and you say the last time was a few weeks ago? Uh, yeah. You sure about that, man? Yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, and so, has there ever been any mental health been diagnosis? Weed every day, though. Huh? Has there ever been any mental health diagnosis? There are all kinds of mental health. Uh, I have uh, autism, bipolar, a whole bunch of stuff, man, but, uh, yeah. When were those diagnoses? What up, uh, boy? Okay, I'm gonna take a look at it. Uh, being renewed. I got a little it. kid. We'll take a look. Doctors have stabbed me and put me on kinds of medication where I couldn't even speak about the things I say. Bro, the thing what was the youngest age that you received your health, your mental health diagnosis? Seven years old. Seven years old. So you kind of been, been on in and that off medicine. Yep, problem, like, but, that, but they tried me on all kinds up, of medicine what up, what up? and medicines that's made me where I couldn't speak and I had to come out here. And when I did do the drugs out here. They helped me come back to normal and able to rap again and able to speak again. But I'm not going to say you need to do drugs. I'm not going to say anything like that. I'm going to say it's your own your right decision. I didn't get, didn't, my mom told me not to get tattoos until I was 22 if I was going to get tattoos. And I didn't want tattoos at all. And then when I got to 22, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to get tattoos. And then I, I enjoyed how they look. You know, I enjoyed. Do the ladies uh, say that they like it? Do you get, you get, you get female attention with that? Uh, yeah, but I was getting female attention beforehand. I, I, my mom, my grandma really got mad at me when I got this young and reckless on my neck. She really got really mad at me about the tattoo on my neck. So, I mean, when was the last time you had a relationship? Uh, s s what's seven, six months ago uh, with this girl named Mackenzie. And uh, so that was up in Tennessee? Yeah, she's very beautiful, but she just, she likes to have a little bit too much fun. She, does, she, does, she doesn't like to be loyal, you know, I... I so she was sleeping around with other guys? The next day, you know? But I mean, if you I figured out if you're gonna be with somebody, you never know what they're gonna do and you just gotta choose who you wanna be with. Why do you think she needed to sleep with other guys? She was uh, financially stressed and she she best definitely is listening to music that would be like, bit um, zane shit, doll that wanna sleep in your bed, don't pay rent. She just wanted money from people. She didn't, she wanted someone to take care of her like a daddy or something to take care of her. And, you know, that's all she wanted. Okay. I, 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 Were you homeless then? Yeah, but I had money and I had a disability check and I was able to pay I was about rent. to say, where, where do you get your income from? I have a disability check. How much is it every month? Uh, 800, sometimes I get bonuses though. Okay, because you said you had 1200, so I mean, what, what, do you just stack up your money or how does that? I don't know, man. I'm in the point right now. This world, you gotta take risks. If you're gonna, I'm walking into one man, and you gotta take risks for your family. But seriously, why would you have twelve hundred dollars cash on you? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I'm more friends with everybody out here. Girls try to come up in front of me, and they just like try to get me to come to their tent. I'm like, I'm not coming to sleep with you in the tent. They try to get you to come to their tent. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm not gonna come to sleep with you in the tent. I mean, I might. <laughs> No, no tent loving for you, man. No, we're not in the woods. This isn't a camping <laughs> trip. I'm not going under the bridge to sleep with you. No. Oh man, are we talking about black women, white women, or what? White and black, black Japanese too. Our Chinese too. I'm like, I'm not going under the bridge, man. But you know, I don't know. I don't know if people have higher sexual performance rate where they feel like they have to have sex more often than me i don't know what it was my medicine might have stunning my my sexual drive your libido yeah libido you know my uh -huh. libido and it, i don't really just feel like i gotta have sex all the time a lot of other people those might need it more you know so i just know i just know that i'm i'm very i got a lot of discipline i don't know sometimes i feel like i'm being moderated and trained for something i don't know because i mean i put a guy in a triangle chokehold really quick when he tried to steal my shoes and had him and had it on live the whole time but i deleted it you know
but uh, I can dig it, man. So I mean, so listen. So what are we doing at this point, man, to try to get ourselves off the street? Man, I don't know, man. I really just want to save the day. I want to take. I want to save a bunch of people in the back of a truck that are being trapped. But you got to save yourself first, man. You, you're I'm you're sleeping I'm on the content. sidewalk, I'm man. I'm content. I'm content. So I mean, so you're you're good. You're like you don't need to. You feel like people you're good. People take care of people, man, a little bit. I'm kind of content about what I do. I mean, so you don't have no plans on really getting off the street right now. I do, but I want to be in a mansion, man. And as soon as I can figure out a, a plan to get me in a mansion in a nice cut, because I don't feel like I have to. I don't feel like I have to do all. What are you looking for? A rap deal? Yeah, I'm looking for a nice, nice opportunity. But, but there's a lot of opportunities out here. I guess I don't know. Nobody's came to me one, but like I said, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa by Plato, P-L-A-T-O, on all platforms, Spotify, iTunes, you know. Okay, man, yeah, I was just about to say, man, listen, we really appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions, man. Yes, sir. Um, You know, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, it sounds like you, you dropped your IG already. Is there any other way they could reach out to you? Yeah, uh, Instagram, Plato, Aristocles, A-R-I-S-T-O-C-L-E-S. P-L-A-T-O, Plato Aristocles, and then, or Instagram, A-Y-P-L-A-Y-T-O-H. Okay, you got a cash app, anything like that, if people want to donate? Uh, KSGBMW. Dollar sign in front? Dollar sign KSGBMW. All right, man, all right. Wait, well, hey, listen, man, we really appreciate you, all right? Or and, uh, buy we... my song, you know. Hey, man, I can dig it, I can dig it. And like I say, we wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? All right, man, have a good one.